everyone. Thanks so much for joining us for Foundry Fridays at Live Arts. Um, I hope that you're settling in for a night uh, all about paper mache. Tonight we're going to be making paper mache bugs with our featured artist, Joom Chiropan. I'm super excited for tonight and it's particularly cozy and dreary here, so I hope that um, you're ready to make things. Um, you'll just need a few things, some glue, some paper, some tape, um, and a nice clear workspace and you can always go to our website livearts.org for a materials list if you forget any of those things. Um, so tonight we will also have a hard stop at 750 because just after us is locally sourced so we hope you'll stay and join that um, join to watch that it'll be a really really fun show tonight we've got Youthful Like a Hoodie by Courtney Walker and the Zuban script by Malcolm Aslett so please stay um, for that after this. Um, before we dive in, I want to thank a few folks who are helping to bring programming like this to you. Our season presenters are Elizabeth and Joe Lavaca and Bank of America. Our September sponsors are Robinson Farmer Cox Associates. Our media sponsor is WTJU at 91.1. Our scene shop sponsor is Karen Pape. Our Pay What You Can sponsors are Allison Partners, Strauss Construction, Latitude 38, and Ting. And our box office sponsors are Elizabeth and Joe Lavaca. Thank you so much to all of those folks that are helping to make this programming and all of the programming at Live Arts possible. Um, if you're interested in becoming a season sponsor, um, please, please reach out to us um, so that we can help you with that. And this offering is also offered as pay what you can. So if you're able to, please find the donation link in the chat or consider picking up a season pass. Um, so this month's artist, uh, Joom Jiropan, love to just get started right now. She is a Thai American artist and a 2018 public artist collaborative resident at the Bridge PAI. Hi, Joom. Yay. Hi, yay. <laughs> I'm super excited to have you here. Um, and I'll just say a few more things. She uh, approaches art as therapy. Her focus is not only on making art, but also sharing the self-exploratory experience with others believing that art is a great tool to open people's hearts and minds to possibilities and opportunities. Um, she takes great joy in volunteering and engaging with local communities and lived in Charlottesville for four years um, before moving recently to Alexandria. So uh, super excited to have you here, June. Thanks so much. Well, thanks, Annie. I'm excited to be here. And besides, you know, I meet us down there to making art together. So I'm, I'm glad to, you know, even, even with the quarantine stuff, we can still make art together. So I'm glad to be here. Yeah, yeah, I'm so glad. Um, so let's bring in our participants. We've got some fun folks here to, to make some paper bugs with us. And if you'd like to join us in the future, send me an email at annie at livearts.org so you can join in the fun. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> Super glad that you all are here. So I think we're ready to get started. We only have an hour, so 
Uh, what? Okay, all right. So it's good. So let's start it. So um, we're going to bring up the PowerPoint right here so we can see what we are going to do today. So so we were going to make box. So these are just like a model. So the one in the middle is the beetle and the one to the right would be, of course, a spider. I, I hope you can see that that's what they are. Anyway, so uh, the beetle is a bit up, uh, just tiny bit more complicated. So if you want to lose the wings and the head, then we can just do the spider. So it's your choice. Or you can even make any other box that you love. Okay, now, so let's move on to the second page. It will be, so here are our materials, some, something that we already have in our kitchen, the, the cardboard, um, the egg containers, the aluminum foil and glue. The one that you saw in the picture, see in the pictures here is a uh, homemade glue that I made with um, cornstarch and then a magazine that we will cut into strips and then you know, uh, toilet paper roll and then of course, paint tape or masking tape. So, and we are going to do in, uh, in easy, quick six steps. So the next page. So the first one, of course you have already prepared yourself. We are making. This we um, tear the newspaper into strips, and then we also cut the magazine into smaller strips because we we are trying to make this just one hour project. We will not be able to wait until it dries before we paint, so we are going to use the paper uh, magazine strip to collage to make the outside at the end of the body, and we also use the egg egg container or the um, cardboard paper to make some other part that rather than the body. And step four. Guys working? Is going to use the, the aluminum foil to make limbs. Because the reason we use it because like, uh, it has the ability to, for us to bend, to bend. So we want to make, make the legs or the limbs to, you know, move in certain way. So we can do that. And then we are going to form the body. And number three, we're going to put them all together and then I'll wrap with the, the masking tape. And then we are going to glue the uh, newspaper around it three times to make, make sure the body is hard and strong enough so when it dries. And then we will collage with our stripes magazines. And then voila, we just wait until it's done. All right, so are we ready? Yeah, sounds great. All right, shall we? Okay, so first thing first, let's make the limp. You choose, uh, see on your screen too, it would be um, my table and you can see my hand, what I'm doing. So we just tear out the, the foil. So let's do this. Okay. Okay. If you are making the spider, we will need eight limbs or eight legs. Or if we are doing this um, beetle, we only need six. So just get out like this. And I'm going to make it half like this and half. So this should be long enough like that. So let me see right there on the screen. And then we just crumble it up to make it. Like that. Yeah. Do we have it? And y'all would like uh, to have your um, microphone on too, so I can hear. And then we can chat with each other and share our trouble. <laughs> oh, joy. Okay. So can you guys make a Straight limb like this, you got it? How dense should it be? Oh, so that's it, just this big piece, or not very really big, so. Um, I would say like, a, uh, what do I say, how come? So if it's this piece, then when we crumble, it will be like, let's say, this thing of it, like, uh, Half of the pin, maybe half side of the pin. Like that reference, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
or just three yeah. fourth of it or half, let's say. And these get or just yeah. uh, paper mache. All right. So once we got this, we just use the masking tape and then just roll it around, just like I don't know, not cigarette because I never done that, but just like this. If you ever made flowers before, this is how we do the stem. So it's just I can keep showing you if you want to look at the, the screen. And once it's done, you still think it's too big in comparison to the body. The body is going to be the size of, uh, of this, the potted pepper roll. So if you think that the, the legs are too big, then you can just squeeze it and then it will become smaller. Because that's the beauty of the, the foil paper. All right, we will make six or eight legs. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is the beauty of the paper mache. Before it's set or dry, you can squeeze and make it any shape that you like. Oh, I'm making them this long, but you can make them shorter. I think. It depends how big your body is. Has anyone done paper mache before? In this group? Long time ago. I think it's really good activity to like for the children to make their own toys too. I told him. It's nice to do in a group too, because I think I used to be intimidated because I thought it would take a really long time or be sort of tedious, but it's really not so bad as if you're doing it with other people. Yeah. Right, how, how many have we got now? <laughs> I haven't taped them yet. I've got four, but they're not all taped. Okay. One. We really do need matching tape, so I don't know. How we're gonna manage that. And if it's too long, don't worry. We just, we can cut it off later. The idea is to make it long okay. enough. It's a good size for the body. So. Yeah, you might also, if you don't have masking tape, I feel like you could probably just paper mache on top of the foil. Do you think that would work, Jim? Um, yes, you can do that too. If you don't have that, it's just like to, to form the body. Without a tape, it's just harder. Yeah. yeah. I think my cat ran off. Do we have any tape at all? I have double-sided tape, but I had a huge roll of masking tape, but the cat was just in here and negotiating. Yeah, double side is fine. Okay. Yeah. It's just more expensive, but yeah. <laughs> if you don't mind. I'm just confused. It's just like disappeared. Yeah, the tape will just help everything, hold everything together, so. You might be able to use string or something too, or like twine. <laughs> it might, it might be a. Why? Going to have music on, right? No, in the background, like some jazz, a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're allowed to have music on Facebook. Maybe we are. I started out doing art, um, taking it as like therapy, do it on my own, just you know, coming from the east. We do not express ourselves, we just suck it up most of the time, and um. But sometimes when the pain is just too much, you know, this is have to let it out. So rather than just like killing somebody, I just make art. So it's pretty convenient. And um, so I started out with painting, but um, now 
I first did the paper mache like last year to make a bird for uh, Unity Unity Day project just to to um to remember what happened in Charlottesville in 2017. You know the the whole protest protest thing. Uh, and um, so anyway, I made a paper mache for the first time like that, and I loved it. It's not as hard as pottery. I love doing things um, with hands rather than just, you know, painting. So our fingers are our paintbrush. So it's very cool. It's very meditative. Yeah, we were talking about how nice it is to just have your hands directly on the materials versus if you're, you know, working with a sewing machine or a tool to kind of facilitate. I really agree with you, June. It's nice to just have your hands on stuff. Two, three, four, five, six. So have we gotten like um, six legs yet or eight? How far are we? How many legs are, do we have now? Eight. Four, okay. Two more. Then we will start uh, making the body. It shouldn't be that long. All right, for those who already finished the legs, just pick up your, the inner tube of the toilet paper. Or if you have the paper towel, then you can just cut them. It should be about six inches, I think. One, two, three, no, four, four inches, so. Don't worry if it doesn't look perfect. We just want to make sure that it just like look like a stick for now because it will be covered by uh, by paper mache anyway. All right. So, oh. how far are we, Maddie? You got all the legs. Uh, I am almost done taping my fourth leg. Okay. We're working on it. Are you a Catalio? How how far are you now? How many legs do, have you got? Um, I think I have four aluminum foiled, and I just have to finish and two taped. So cool. I'm pretty far along. Joanna, is your tape working out for you? The tape? I think it, it might be too soon to tell, but so far it's working. Jim, did you ever used to make things with your family? Is that something that you grew up doing? Oh, uh, they make me do things. They don't make things with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's relatable. <laughs> How about you, you ladies? You all grow up uh, making toys, doing stuff with your family? Kind of, I, we didn't have a lot of money growing up. So when I asked for like toys on TV, my mom would just help me make them, which was really fun. Like paper dolls and clothes for the paper dolls and things. Um, 
that's really good skill you have, you know, and make you appreciate the stuff that you make too. Yeah, I think it's something I appreciate now, though, as a kid, you're just like, ah, oh, everything's flat. <laughs> I'm still growing up, but I never really, like, liked toys. I liked playing outside a lot more than playing with toys, so I never really got the experience of making a toy. Playing outside is still, I mean, a really wonderful thing. You know, not many people growing up these these days get to play outside. You know, I pity them. <laughs> all right, I guess we got all the legs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So here we got the paper tube. Just like one one third, just squeeze to make the head like that. Just squeeze it. Yep. Okay, so I put it this way. Yeah. Got it? Then we will use the, the, the masking tape to hold it, to hold the shape. So, all right. Here we go. We just oh hold God. the shape like that. <laughs> right? It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be like that. And then we will use the foil to make the head a little bit rounder and bigger. All right, I think that and put some more to make the butt a little bit brown. If you have combo or paper, we can just do that too, like this one. If you have like a big piece of paper, you just crumble and stuff. Or you could use this boy too. Oh, I make it too small. Hold on. Yeah, when I was growing up, I think my mom was really awesome at making activities, which now I, I really appreciate her for. We would sort of lay out a whole table with all kinds of newspaper and, you know, all kinds of stuff for Valentine's Day and make a Valentine for everyone in my class, which was like totally insane. <laughs> Just <laughs> I don't know where that energy came to do all that stuff, but it was really nice to, to have those moments together. Right, and then we used it to, to hold uh, the foil in place like that. Okay. All right. We, do we have the body? Almost. Work it now. Yeah. And then I assume that you all would like to make the wings, right? Yeah. Make the wings, then here's the crate. And we just have to cut, just strip out. I find it easier to just use the, the rim because then we know we get the right size. And then, um, I think you all see the shape. So one side is like this. So this will be the back like that. Just the back of the thing. And the other one is like that. So pretty much opposite side like that. Yep, do we have? So this is the, the piece I got. And don't worry that it's not perfect because we all are born looking differently anyway. So I'm sure the box would not look exactly the same. Uh-oh, my... Did it wrong, so I have to cut another one. I'm also curious what bugs people grew up with, or like what what bug they either like the most, or relationship to bugs. 
I had a cicada like shell collection. They were <laughs> so cool to me and ladybugs too. I don't know what it was, but I really like cicadas and ladybugs. How did you collect them? Did you like put them in a box or did you have? Well, mom wouldn't want them in the house. So I would pick them off of trees and then lay them like next to a rock and they'd always still be there. So I'd be like, hey, I'm collecting cicadas. <laughs> So fun. I do, uh, do we have the wings? And for me, the box I only grew up with, the, the only thing that, uh, the type of box that I eat, I don't know what it's called, but um, we used to put, I'm so sorry, I'm Asian, so I might sound cruel, but I put, we just put water into the hole and they just climb out and we just find those. So. Yeah. Don't apologize. Pretty good, protein. <laughs> Pretty good proteins. But yeah, that's the only type of I don't know if it's cicada, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know the word. We ate crickets. We did Oh crickets. no no, it's cricket. Yes, it's cricket yeah. that I ate. We did that too. Yeah. <laughs> you cook them. With salt, just like stir fry yeah. with a little bit of oil and then put salt on. My grandma has a big wok. You just fill it with oil and then you just throw a bunch of them in and they're like kind of like french fries. Really. Yes, yeah, so this is the wing part. So this is what it looks like. And then um, we do another part. Let's see. Let me find the pin. So I drew on here. That's just the head of a look. If we can. Remember the picture that I show that. Oh, can you show it a little closer? Yeah, the picture of the bug. Maybe we can, um, if we can share the picture. Liz, could you please share that picture on the screen so we know what to draw? So it's pretty much just like uh, the two, two stick on the top and the horn maybe. Oh, hold, uh, move it in front of the camera a little bit. I can't. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, oh, there you go. So we, uh, so we already made the wing. This is the wing part, the bottom. What and then now we, again? I'm sorry? What material are the wings made out of again? Uh, you can use the cardboard or the, the egg container. Okay. Yeah. I don't think that it's hard enough that it can make the shape. You know, if you have the, the extra, what you call this, the, the tube or the toilet paper, you can cut that open and use that too. It will form the frame. We just want something that is uh, large enough to make the frame. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. So, uh, It's more like a heart shape for the top part here. So, oh, okay, let's see. They use the two wings to make the reference here and then just draw like that. Then we will cut it out. Um, is that for the heart? For the wings, or what is that part for? Oh, uh, that's part for the neck, the thing that cover the neck. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So here we go. We have the wing right there, so then we just draw like like a heart, just make a heart. But on the neck will be a bit flat. Or if it's easier, just make the heart like this, and then we will cut it like that. Wow, Jennifer, I'm very impressed. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, cool. And this is a type of beetle. So, I mean, if you don't get the same, the same look, don't worry, because I'm sure you still look like Bob's, nonetheless. 
mine's turning into a fly. <laughs> it's little subtle shape differences really make a big, big difference. So I think with these cool big legs, it's gonna be a weird hybrid creature. <laughs> into that. I'm going for a dragonfly. Nice. Yeah, I think that's the nice thing too, is like, you know, whatever shape you make is probably gonna look pretty cool. So whether it looks like a beetle right. or something else. And I don't think we have like a, any bug experts to try to die, to try to figure out what it is. You know, they just, oh, it's bug. That's it. <laughs> okay. I just want to keep the bejeepers out of it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, do we do we time? Oh, half an hour. Okay, all right. Let's just move on. <laughs> Let's take some time. Yeah. But the idea is just like we have to create the frame that we want it like the skeleton. We are creating the skeleton of it. So, then we'll put the, the paper mache will serve as the skin. All right, so now we put them, tap them together. I think we got, let's do the wings. So you can see here, make the the bottom just go over a little bit like that. Yeah. Yeah. So when you All put right. it in, tape it down. And just to make sure that we get it done in time, we might only do uh, one round of paper mache mm -hmm. before we put a collage in or one or two rounds. And then because like when it dries, you can redo it to make it harder. The reason we have to do like at least three times just because like when it dries, then it can be as hard like, uh, like the plaster wall. <laughs> this looks so weird. It will do it one time and we can, it can, you can squeeze <laughs> it and feel as soft as the real box, maybe. Okay. So add that. And you can see the, the spot right here, right? The split in between. Then we can just uh, use any leftover thing to stop in there or the boy to, to, uh, to fill it in like that. And then we just tape over. And the taping doesn't have to be perfect, you know, it just have to hold the tape, hold everything together. Working with the foil is very satisfying. It's just very easy to move around. Oh, Jen, Jen you got uh, somebody working with you too. Who, me? Yeah. I think I it's do. Some, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. They're, they are, they're incognito though. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right, now we put the chair. Oh, I make the chair too small. Yeah, really oh my god, that's awesome. I put some little wire in for antenna too. I'm not sure how that's going to go, but I make my heart too small, but this will be another box then. This is not a problem. Okay. All right, does it hold together? So we have it. Then we are going to start the paper machine now.
I think we are really out of time. So you don't have to cover every part as long because we will cover it with paper mache. All right, so also those who have done already. So this is what we are going to do. We are going to do just one round of, of paper mache and then we will collage. All right. So what you do is to dip your fingers in the glue and then pick up the paper and then you just applied it like that. Just use your finger to apply this on. It can go any direction as long as it's copper. All right, there we go. It doesn't have to be pretty. Don't, we are doing this without having to think too much. <laughs> because in the end, it will be copper. So awesome. <laughs> so great. <laughs> like speed paper mache. <laughs> I'm like sweating right now. <laughs> Sorry, I should have asked you guys to make the legs beforehand. Oh, it's fun. I appreciate the physicality. You need to have a cooking show, like, you know? <laughs> exactly. You're doing good? Are you taping it in? Or? Yeah. I actually really like this part. I just think it feels fun. Yeah, I I feel that too. I like I'm not worrying about making it look super neat. It's kind of nice to just throw stuff together. You're ready to put the paper mache on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and when and when we collage too, just like it becomes like abstract, but just like when we look at the at box, their skins can be in many volume and color too, so we don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I forgot one thing, ladies. You're supposed to collage the, no, not collage, to make the, the legs first. Let's make the legs because that's we are, then we are going to attach, attach to the body. Um, it's easy. Yeah, let's do the leg because okay. if we attach the the legs to the body first, uh -huh. it's so difficult to um. It takes longer to to put the to put them on. You know, if they were like this, then we have to go around the body and such. This is will be faster. So I only do it one layer, and then I start with the collage right away for the legs, okay. right? We only need to do one round. Your butt will be soft and not as strong, but I think this will work too if we were to make the, the pinata, the thing that um, mm. we put candy in and then smash. If it use too many layer, it might not break if we hit it. So, here we go. How do you attach the legs? Yeah. Uh, we will use the tape. So okay. here we go. This is the, the bottom, right? The bottom, this is the top. I'm sorry. So to attach the leg, after we done with the, done with the, oh, hold on. My finger got, then we attach it like that. So here's the leg. So you just put it on like that. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. Get it. Might want to wipe the glue off the body because the thing doesn't stick, but no worry, we will go over with the 
My glue is the paper mache anyway. My glue is now pudding. <laughs> yeah, it does get thick over time when you make it. But it's still, uh, yeah, but it's, it's still sticky. So yeah, that happened to us before too. <laughs> so when I found Mod Pod in my <laughs> storage, I was like, yeah, I'm going to use that one instead. It's faster. Yeah. So let's do the legs. We only need uh, one layer of newspaper and then we can go ahead with the magazine strip. Preparing your magazine. <laughs> it looks cool with the different. And don't worry that if we are not finished in time, the, the key is to enjoy the process, that's the therapeutic power of the art itself. So the key is just to make the frame make the legs and then we just uh, paper mache it. It's still the same, whatever we, we make. Oops, I forgot. And for folks at home, we'll be wrapping up in about 10 minutes or so, but um, we'll post this video. So if you want to check back another time to finish up, you're welcome to watch it then. But um, yeah, if Jim, if you have any other tips for folks. Use tape to really just tape them down and don't double back it maybe. Just like literally tape them on. Okay. Are you having any trouble? Besides we are spinning. <laughs> <laughs> and now But if we were to make anything like uh, easier, like we, if we don't spend time cutting the, the wing and such, if we don't have time, you know, it will still be spider. Make something mm. boxy, it will be easy too, so. Crazy when the camera comes on because I'm just working away. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's fun actually seeing the newspaper on here. It's like, it's nice to. You're working very fast. <laughs> it is. It's like speed. Speed crafting. Oh, wow. I love the wings. That's really oh, Thank nice. you. <laughs> Yeah, we are talking to you about fun ways that you could use these after, I mean, obviously Halloween's coming, but um, I think it would be fun to surprise people with or like leave it on somebody's car window. Yeah. <laughs> leave it up for your mailman. Yeah. Yeah. A poor mailman. Yeah. <laughs> they will certainly appreciate that. They don't get scared. And we can make like a spider for the Halloween decoration too, and or make pumpkin. This is the weirdest glue I've ever worked with. So weird. <laughs> the glue? Yeah, I'm having an experience as well. To the newspaper, I'm like, why? Um, yeah, mine is like mashed potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Like Something. Like yeah, as as long as it's sticking, you know, no worry at all. Mine's basically ooblet by now. I 
kind of making me hungry, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering, Liz, did you end up making a bug? No pressure. I'm not today, but next, <laughs> definitely going to do this at home. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Liz is our magician. <laughs> Unfortunately, sticky, gluey fingers and computers don't mix. Oh, do not mix. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm just putting glue all over my computer. <laughs> Very careful with mine. Well, speaking of that, I think we're almost out of time. So we're going to keep working for a little bit. Um, nice. So because we are going to like uh, running all time. So the key is just you just use the tape to attach the leg. Once you are done with that, then we will just start paper machine the bottom first. But because we are running out of time. So let's say now we can do the, just this we got the legs that is not attached yet, but we, we just going to do the collage. So this is how it's gonna work. You just put it on like that. Cool. Easy peasy and then wrap around. And this we got this part because I haven't had the chance to cover with it all with the paper yet, but the collage is just like, you just put the, this strip of, paper on top on the outer, uh, outer surface so. <clears throat> and if you don't like it how it looks we can always paint over so just I haven't covered it all with the paper yet. Yeah, and for folks um, after this locally source will be coming on right after. So definitely check that out. There's some really great um, scripts and plays that were written written in town. So original works, that's the word I'm trying to find. <laughs> it's hard to do things with your hands and talk, but those should be awesome. So take a look um, after we sign off. And um, next month, we're going to be doing Halloween masks with Anna. So come join us for that. And if you want to jump in and participate, send me an email at Annie at livearts.org. Love to have you. And the, the masks have like, you know, protective presses like, you know, it's COVID era, so we need to make sure. So it will include that too, the mask? Um, it will be addressed, yes. <laughs> so any last uh, tips before we sign off, Jim? Well, mostly just like, um, I mean, you are uh, associated with life art, so I'm sure you are pretty like uh, pretty artist already. So this is just another way to you know to express yourself and or to work or to meditate. So I would just say mostly just enjoy the process, you know. And we are not going to aim for any perfect perfection. And today we make box. We can make it big. Like so, this is the the picture of the. The, the books that I made. If you were to go to the library, central library uh, near Lee statue, it was there for three, six months from August, 2019 to February to what's that March of this year. So you might see this bird. So you can see here, we make the, just like what we make here, we make the body, the frame using the cardboard or uh, in, in this case, what we are doing today, we use the, the, the tube, the inner tube of the toilet paper. Mm -hmm. And then we use the foil to create texture and also the volume. Mm -hmm. And then we tape it over with the, um, with the masking tape. So you can see, I just used like <laughs> some fabric from my sofa that's being torn apart to, to add the layer so it looked like it's soft. So that's what you can see on the picture on the bottom there. And then I tape it all over. 
And once I finish the taping, I just use the um, newspaper to paper mache around the body like five times because this will be outside. So I wanted to make sure that it's strong enough. When people run into it, it will not break. So this is why we use the newspaper to pick, make the people mache to make the surface hard. And then uh, I just paint over and voila, that's the bird. Mm -hmm. So it's still same concept that with uh, with the box that we are making today. Mm. Any question, ladies? Yeah, I think that's all of our time. So um, thank you so much, June. This has been so nice, and for everyone who joined thank us, thank you. Great, and for everyone at home, hope to see you next month. And stay tuned for a locally sourced, locally sourced, which is coming up right now. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.